Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our videos. Today, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of downloading and installing Windows 10. Whether you're upgrading from Windows 10 or doing a fresh installation, I've got you covered. Let's get started. All right, now it's time to download Windows 10. Head over to the official Microsoft website. Look for the Download Windows 10 section. Scroll down until you see the option Create Windows 10 Installation Media and click the Download Now button. The Installation Assistant will download. Once it's ready, run the Media Creation tool. Accept all the terms and conditions. If you are going to upgrade your PC, simply click Upgrade This PC Now or choose Create Installation Media for another PC, then click Next. It will show the recommended OS edition. If you want to change it, do so, otherwise, click Next. Select ISO file and in the next pop-up window, choose the folder where you want to save it, then click Save. Windows will start downloading to that folder. Windows 10 has been fully downloaded as an ISO file. Now, to make this ISO file into a bootable Windows USB drive, open Google and search for Windows USB bootable tool. From the search results, visit the official Rufus website, download the file, and install it. Open Rufus, select the ISO file and load it. Then, choose your pen drive, click Start, and the process will make your pen drive windows bootable. Your Windows bootable pen drive is now ready, and you can use it to install Windows. Next, plug your pen drive into your computer and restart it. While the system is restarting, press the Delete key. Depending on your motherboard, this key may vary and is often F10 or F12, or delete. Click Next. Click Install Now. If you have a product key, enter it. Otherwise, click I don't have a product key. Select the operating system you want to install, in my case, Windows 10 Pro, then click Next. Accept the license terms and click Next. Choose the second option, Custom Install Windows Only. It will list all the available partitions on your computer. Since this is my new SSD, I will allocate the entire SSD for the operating system. To do this, I'll create a new partition. Select the drive, click New, and then Apply. Once the partition is created, format it by selecting the drive and clicking Format. After formatting, select the drive and click Next. Windows will now start the installation process, which will proceed through five stages automatically. After installing the features, the system will restart. At this point, you need to unplug your Windows pen drive. This ensures the system moves to the next step instead of starting the installation process from the beginning. Select your region and keyboard layout, then click Next. Click I don't have internet and continue. You will then need to set a username and password. Windows will now proceed with the final stage of installation, which may take several minutes. Once completed, your Windows operating system has been successfully installed. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 